These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for September the 5th, 2021. The blog post this week is on the Princeton Battle Monument by Frederick McManus, 1922. It's a major work by McManus that I hadn't seen until this past summer. Second recommendation, Henry Van Dyke, The Ballad of Princeton Battle. This was written for the dedication of the Princeton Battle Monument in 1922. Along a sun pink's woody bank, we left our campfires bright, while like a fox with padded feet, we stole away by night. Cornwallis watched his Trenton trap and drained his glass and took his nap, but the ragged troops of Washington outflanked him in the night. Up and away for Princeton, by a secret road to Princeton, we dragged our guns with muffled wheels to win another fight. The icy trail was hard as iron, our footprints marked it red. Our frosty breath went up like smoke to the winking stars o'erhead. By bare swamp and by miry run, our muskets weighed at least a ton. We shivered till o'er Stony Brook we saw the sun rise red. Weary we tramped to Princeton, but all of us at Princeton would follow our chief through thick and thin till the last of us was dead. We looked beyond the upper bridge, across the swollen stream, and there, along the king's highway, we saw the red coats gleam. Twas Mawhood's regiment marching down to finish us off at Trenton Town. Go cut the bridge! And Mercer's men crept up along the stream, but the British turned toward Princeton, came bravely back for Princeton, and all the rest of that dim hour was wilder than a dream. They rushed through Will Clark's orchard among the naked trees. With horse and foot they hammered hard. Their bullets sang like bees. And Mercer fell, and Hazlitt fell. The bayonets cut us up like hell. The chain shot mowed a bloody path beneath the twisted trees. It looked all black for Princeton. We lost our hopes of Princeton. We wavered and we broke and fled as leaves before the breeze. Then down the hill from Tom Clark's house rode Washington, aflame with holy ire, through smoke and fire, like mighty Mars he came. Come on, my men, parade with me, we'll make the braggart redcoats flee. And up the hill against the guns rode Washington aflame. He turned the tide at Princeton, the land was saved at Princeton, and they who fought and they who fell won liberty and fame. Men praise our chief for weighty words, for counsel calm and high, for prudence and enduring will, for cool far-seeing eye. One thing he had all else above, courage that caught the soldier's love, and made the soldier's loyal heart in danger's hour beat high. We saw it clear at Princeton, t'was written here at Princeton, the men who make a nation great are men who dare to die. Third recommendation. Guess who's coming to dinner? 1967. With Sidney Poitier, Spencer Tracy, and Catherine Hepburn. A look at race, love, and parenthood in the form of a well-acted drama rather than a polemic. How had I never seen this movie before? Hat tip to John P. on Facebook. Fourth recommendation for this week for my supporters is a poem by a 20th century American author, which is a different angle on the new woman of the early 20th century, who's often seen in Henry Kitchell Webster's short stories and novels. DianeDurantyWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, architecture, and my other obsessions. To join the free Sunday recommendations email list, visit the URL that's on the screen or email me. And you can say well done, Diane, or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on DianeDurantyWriter.com. As always, thank you for listening.